hello welcome or welcome back to my channel i talk about luxury fashion beauty and lifestyle related topics i'm always looking at the comments and i love interacting with you guys so first things first don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos it really helps to grow my channel and oh by the way we've reached 23,000 subscribers so thank you thank you so much for your love and support i appreciate you all guys sorry if you hear the background noisy sometimes because of the dog barks but today i will be doing a review of my louis vuitton capucins mini bag in exotic leather or ostrich leather i have posted a video unboxing this beauty uh, first take of October, I believe, and I was able to wear it once only since this bag is for occasions and I purchased it for that purpose alone, maybe. <laughs> but it's not a bag that you can use or should use every day, which many of Capucin's lovers would agree with me. Number one, it's a tiny piece where only the basic of basics can fit in. Number two, it's an expensive bag that you would want to risk damage to the surface as well as the structure or hardware like scratches, stains, and sags. Let me just remove the protective or tissue paper. And number three, because it is an exotic primarily, this petite bag, like all the Capucin's bags, feature the distinctive Capucin's flap, which can be tucked in to display the LV signature or worn outside, like so, to reveal a monogram flower. The finish is purple pearl. It's part of All Winter 2023 collection and it draws its inspiration from pearls made from the inner layer of the mother of shell and its nacreous aspect, referring to the visible dots on the ostrich leather. It has ostrich leather trim, light gold or champagne gold color hardware with top handle with four protective metal button studs. It comes with an ostrich leather strap which is removable and adjustable. The strap drop is 55 cm minimum and 59 cm maximum. So the interior, it is lined with luxurious goat skin. There's a divider in the middle, which I wish they didn't put one for this size and you'll see why in a while. So it has one flat pocket and a loop I don't know if you can see it so let me just move closer it's a loop to tuck in the flap this is an all leather bag which is great considering the price it retails for 525,000 pesos and this piece purple pearl is a type of seasonal finish produced in a limited quantity and only available in a short period of time or three months only only one arrived for this particular finish and color which is um, well i pick because i thought it's a unique a statement piece and there's nothing quite like it in my collection for capucins ostrich leather aside from the seasonal finishes they also have colors colors are usually being offered quite longer like the um, candy orange yellow green amethyst rose calypso yeah or pink colors draw inspiration to monotones while finish like this draws inspiration to anything that is composed of two or more colors and for my capucins mini the main inspiration is a purple pearl purple pearl the retail price of a color piece like the ones I mentioned earlier was uh, 479,000 pesos while this, the purple pearl was 525,000 pesos when I bought it. And finish requires more craftsmanship and expertise than colors. 
That is why it's more valuable and it requires additional technique to achieve it. These are based on my research and also sharing with you some important information my SA told me so that you'll have an idea on the difference between the two ostrich capucins. And before I show you what fits inside, let me mention first the pros and cons of this bag. First is that it's small and lightweight to carry. Second, I love the aesthetic of this bag. It's classic and classy. Third, you walk around with this bag, it is, you know, it just screams good taste, depending on your outfit and it can be very elegant, really chic, cute, and I've never seen another bag that looks similar to this from other brands. Another pro is that it can be worn multiple ways as a top handle, shoulder bag, crossbody, and even the crook of your arm. But my favorite way to wear it is to hand carry. Also, I love that the strap is removable as well as adjustable. And the feet, the feet are another great feature of this bag because most mini bags have no feet. And now let's go to the cons. The flap can be worn like this, but I don't think that it looks really good. If you want to hide the LV, the flower will appear, but I don't like the look of it as it is inadequate. If you see what I mean, it's just for the BB and mini size in my opinion. Another con is that to get in and out of the bag, it could be a bit enabling going on if you have more than uh, essentials in there. Also, even if you only have the bare minimum, it could be a little tough to go in and out if you're not just trying to grab your phone or something smaller. That could be frustrating when you are in a hurry. Pro Max phones can only fit in this bag without the cover. So that's something you should think about if you buy this bag but prefer using Pro Max. But the number one con for this bag is the price. Capucins fall in the high fashion category it's full leather, mostly made of Tarillion leather, which is durable. It is high-end, sort of a, uh, it's exclusive and very expensive. But I pick this ostrich, which is way more expensive than the Tarillion, though, because I wanted a special piece like an evening wear from Louis Vuitton. And I wouldn't recommend you buy from the store. I would definitely suggest you buy your capucines from the pre-love market because they don't really hold their value that much. Though the retail price keeps on increasing uh, every year, I guess. And if you choose to buy resale, just look at how the bag wears. It's not an everyday bag, especially the mini, which is not practical. But if it's something you love to own and you can live without it, sure, buy it because there will be a use for it for you. It is a statement piece when you are going out to dinner and you just want to carry a little bag, you know. It's also great for day events. So now I'll show you what fits inside. You know what, guys? I've been trying to insert or put this inside. With I have some basic essentials in it, but it won't fit but i've seen some videos uh, they're able to put this without 
well with some maneuvering but this one i don't want to do that the sticker is still intact and i'm not going to remove that yet my recto verso card holder wallet my louis vuitton six ring key holder l'occitane lotion lipstick from dior another lipstick from dior chanel lip balm Louis Vuitton travel perfume, blotting paper, pretty much all. Let's put this sunglasses from Louis Vuitton with the soft case. And this is what it looks like. And if I want to include or put my cell phone, this is Pro Max. It won't fit, so I have to maybe remove the recto verso and replace it with probably let me see so it does fit the cell phone without the cover of course so i'm gonna use this for my cards like debits credit cards and i can still take some cash and that's it the sunglasses voila so it's still roomy considering the size the mini bag i also had a bad or not so good experience experiences rather with the capucins i had posted a video about my capucins pm my love and hate relationship with that bag i still own it and the other one was the uh, bb size which i returned and exchanged it with this just paid additional because this one is an exotic obviously but you know despite those uh stories I still couldn't resist especially in this size because i love it like i mentioned i bought this for the intention of using or wearing it for evening it's really really beautiful it's a collection piece a statement piece i hope that this video was helpful for you if you like it please give it a thumbs up leave a comment let me know your feedback about the bag as well and i'll see you on my next one bye